Yay! Oh, I'm so oh, happy. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I'm a small reseller. I sell on eBay, knickknacks, and also on Whatnot. I just started selling on Whatnot here in the last month or so, and overall it's going pretty good. We'll talk a little bit you know, more about the ins and outs of getting started on Whatnot, selling on Whatnot, and all that kind of stuff. In my last video, I talked about kind of this wild idea that I had about moving my current situation where I basically have just been holding my Whatnot Live sales in my dining room, which has worked you know, really well for the most part. I had to put in new light bulbs to, you know, because the other ones were real yellow. But outside of that, it was working really well. But we have a spare room upstairs and, well, we have two spare rooms and we use them just as guest rooms, like when my in-laws come in and stuff. And so one of those rooms I've been using to store uh, and then pack up for shipping items that I had listed so that they had kind of a, a carpeted, safe place. Uh, Theodore, you know, he likes to talk. Uh, but, but that they'd have kind of a safe space to hang out until they, they got their new home and I could get them shipped out. And so I was just thinking the other day, the other bedroom is, you know, not much bigger, but it's a little bit bigger where I could more easily fit, you know, like a full size shipping table in there. And then I've got things enough listed and off my shelves from downstairs and moved up here that I really could condense down a couple shelves and maybe bring one of my my like bigger nicer shelves up here and so I think that would be good just for storage reasons and stuff but then you know I've got my curio cabinet that you can come on in I've got my curio cabinet that I'm gonna be getting from the antique booth um, I planned on doing that today and I'll be honest guys I just I didn't have it in me to go do today nothing no like boohoo feelings about closing the antique shop. I just literally didn't have it in me. Um, so I don't know how, speaking of that, I don't know how far we'll get on this today. Um, but I think the plan right now is to at least get the bed moved out of the spare room that I'll be moving into. Getting the stuff moved out of the room I'm currently in. It, it's going to be like a Jenga mess. And I hope it goes okay. I'll try to catch some clips of film of us moving stuff. Hopefully not yelling at each other. You know, threats of divorce. You know how it goes when you do these kinds of projects as a married couple. <laughs> but, no, I've got a good man. He uh, offered not only to help me move the bed, but also to help me move the insane amount of just little tidbits, which is going to be what takes the longest honestly and he he without being asked offered to do so so hopefully we get enough of it done that it's in decent enough ready condition for tomorrow for my live sale because i think I, i'm super stoked to be able to do it from up there and then if theodore starts acting a fool i can close the door on him and he won't be allowed in so anyway that is uh, the gist of what the video today will be about. Um, I'll kind of show items that you probably haven't seen before because most of what I have up there has been listed on my eBay for a little while. And so as I come across those, I'll, I'll try to, you know, show those to you and talk about them a little bit and stuff. And otherwise, I'm going to get busy. This will be the future shipping cabinet. It does not look like much right now. It has been in the garage. It has been the home of many spiders and roly polies. They have been permanently evacuated and we are preparing to move 
this beast upstairs to the new reselling room. Jared, say hi. What's up? And Theodore, of course, is always ready to pitch in. So my brothers come over to help move the cabinet. It doesn't look like much with the drawers out. And I think a lot of the weight is in that top on it, but it is, it is very heavy. So he's here to help us move that up to hopefully do the least amount of damage possible. And he brought dinner. Oh, and he brought some dinner too. Yeah, that's true. Check that out. It actually fit really well here. 46 in length, you thought? Uh, okay. I did not do the well, hold stuff. on though. The thing I was thinking too was that like kind of this wall corner would be the whatnot life sale area was my thinking instead of on this wall or just this wall. I was thinking this made sense for that. So I was kind of thinking my shipping cabinet would go like over here. Oh, okay. I was kind of thinking maybe it would go roughly. Just made a sale, so taking a quick pause break but I will show you guys at the moment we are working on you know the the clothes I'll try to show you like the clothing rod thing you know so we're gonna add a board like 12 inches below uh, where it's currently at and hang it so that we can hang the uh bubble wrap up but quick intermission i made a sale so i'm gonna go take care of that real quick oh these are my new shears i haven't hung the curtain over them yet but they're super pretty they're super pretty i think they're polyester so they're nothing super fancy but they're really pretty and they'll still let in you know good light i'm excited I'm excited. We got the table up here, and so far I have, you know, like my thank you cards in here, tissue paper, my unopened tissue paper. Uh, no, nothing up here is set and ready yet, but that'll be where, like, my shipping scale is. It's going to be my shipping table, basically. And so, you know, most of this is all going to be shipping supplies in the drawers. My cellophane over here. Well, I haven't thought that far yet. We'll figure that part out. It's definitely, it's like, oh my gosh, it's in the way and it makes you want to throw it away. But I'll tell you what, guys, <laughs> it comes in handy. And so, yes, it takes up a lot of room. And I get a lot of mine uh, outside of my bubble wrap there. I get that from American Bubble Boy. But other stuff... My mom, where she works, they have a lot of, uh, well, she works at a hospital. So they have a lot of warehouse type packaging and stuff. And so I'm able to get a lot of air pillows and just uh, a little more heavy duty uh, shipment type packing, which is really helpful. Anybody who is a seller, you know, ships can, I'm sure, very much understand exactly what I'm talking about. And for anybody out there that is looking for stuff like that, ask around. You'd be surprised, you know, uh, places where people work, supermarkets, <laughs> anything, because everywhere has to have shipments brought in. So if you've got, you know, buddies that work at places where shipments come in, you know, I don't care if it's the dollar store, ask them if they have bubble wrap and all that kind of stuff that, that comes in, the packing material and stuff, because they have to pay to discard it. It goes into their dumpster, their dumpster fills up. It's a pain in the butt. So mo most of the time, they're happy to give it to you. They'll let you know what days their trucks come in, uh, about what time they're usually done, uh, you know, pulling things off the truck and having all that stuff ready where you could come and get it. For the most part, my whatnot sales will be done kind of from this angle facing in over here. Maybe like this so we can get a little bit of the cool curtain. I don't know. We'll see. I think we should take care of that light bulb right now. It might be hard to tell on the camera, but like, see, I have the ring light off. See how yellow it looks in here?
better. Okay, so minus the disco going on. I think the light looks better. Babe, will you turn off the uh, ring light? I almost called it a rocket light. <laughs> it's not a rocket light. It's the middle button. There you go. So yeah, definitely not as yellow. So hopefully hopefully that that works pretty good. Still, make sure you got it the right way. I want to hear that. Well, I don't know what way. I'll make it. It's this, it's this way, see? Um, that, um, then this. Put it, wait, put it down like this. I'm gonna put this on top. Because I've learned this the hard way. Oh no. Here, hold this. <laughs> you have to do it all in the car. That's what I'm telling you, babe. This thing is gonna be nice until you roll. <laughs> until you roll out of it. Until you roll out of it. See, you know what? You always pick the best spots to lay in. Yeah, they be careful. Is it the right way? Yes. Okay, I know. It's funny See? how you're so concerned about if this is the right way, but yeah, if you put toilet, toilet paper, paper I know. That was God dang. Okay, so this one will slide. Look at you. You know what? Like a rhinestone cowboy. You could put things in between here, like little clips. Hey. Don't get too carried away there, Haas. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so oh happy! We got it. Look at it! That's Just it. look at it! Show your... Brand Show your spanking people. new! <laughs> Show your people. Okay, there it is. Now I have my bubble wrap all hung up on here ready for tearage. I've got all my boxes. I'm sure I will fill in probably a lot of my bubble wrap stuff over here. We'll get smashed down there and it won't look quite so clutterless. Let's move that up. It won't, it won't wind up looking quite so darn it clutterless, but, uh, that's okay. At least it'll be out of the, out of the way of the room. So, I think next we got to go down and grab this black shelf and bring it up. And then I think my husband's hard part of it is over, except for helping me just carry the little things into this room out of the other room. Show the bedroom where I sleep. Huh? Show the bedroom where I sleep. Oh. Much work. No, he's not completely done. This is our master bedroom. That is the bed that came out of the bedroom we're turning into my reselling room. That is the regular bed, you know, upside down. These are all the coats and such that were in the guest room. Furniture from the guest room. All this crap is from the guest room. So, except for her, well, she was in there. That's, I have her listed on eBay. She's, she's quite pricey. But I have her listed for like two or three hundred dollars less than what she has sold for in the past. So yeah, we'll get that shelf carried up, get it in there, and then I can start moving stuff from here and down in the dining room. Shut Yay. Shut it down. Oh, Theodore's getting dog love. Theodore, say hi. Say look. Look, buddy. Everyone said that you want a treat. <laughs> he's upset because he's low on cookies. Okay, so here's where we're at. We've got that black shelf moved up from the basement. We've got my desk and computer moved up. Uh, this antique table here, I am plan on keeping it in here. It'll somehow sort of, I think anyway, sit in the middle and then I'll be able to like put my tripod on it and stuff like that for live sales. Uh, I'm planning on having live sale inventory kind of right up here. These things down here are listed on eBay currently. I'll have some other, uh, for the most part, whatnot sale stuff on there. Uh, over here is going to be where I do all my shipping. I've got my scale brought up and then the rest will fill in rather quickly. I'm going to utilize some of these drawers here to stash inventory that's listed. And then uh, I've got a couple other shelves 
So figuring out where they'll go, you know, one may go right there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. But I've just now started, <laughs> barely, probably can't tell, working on making my way with the stuff on the floor. And then, I don't know, maybe I should unload the shelves first, bring the shelves over, and then reload those. That might make more sense. So... This is where we're at so far. I have a live sale this Saturday, tomorrow at 7 p.m. So we're going live, whether we're set and ready or not. We'll see. Good morning, good morning to all. As you can see, well, we moved all the extra blankets into here for now, just to get them out of the way. But I'm not, not even close to getting all this moved over. But let's see what progress we made. We did get the bedroom, sorta, like together, I guess. Enough, enough to sleep on, anyway. And then now, this is the current situation. I've got my computer hooked up though, my printer hooked up, I'm ready to roll. I did have a sale this morning, so I'll be packing that up shortly. And then just uh, here's my shelf that for the most part will contain stuff that's listed on whatnot, but I'll be honest, it'll wind up being a hodgepodge. And majority of my whatnot sales stuff will be on this table. And it actually, this is a really old table. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick, okay. I've got to try to hold it on my shoulder. So you see this part here? What I just lifted up is called the apron. You can kind of see like a little middle notch area. And that kind of tells you where it's supposed to sit. You know? So then it then it just kind of locks it. Locks her on in there to some degree. Now you don't want to sit on this. You know, I got, it looks like a screw. I need to screw in i'm gonna take care of that real quick these antique tables there we go let's just turn that on so these antique tables man there's you know these old joints on them here and old hardware and such i don't think this one had there's a better look at the apron on it uh i don't think this one was marked anywhere I don't, so I don't know. It may have been a made-at-home piece, but just, my grandpa, just I think. your grandpa, you think? I think so. My husband was saying he thinks his grandpa made it. Yeah. That looks like a cobweb. I know he at least finished it. Or he at least finished it. Yeah. You can see there has been some uh, newer hardware added on for the security of it. But what I love about it is you can see all of the, you know, original. Like, look at this small piece of wood here in comparison to the other size planks. It's like you kind of used what you had. And I really, really love that about it. You can see, like, this, you know, old lacquer stuff. You, you won't find that very often. You have to special order that stuff now to get those old uh, glues and lacquers and, and things that they used. It's, you know... Uh, there's a viewer of mine that does a lot of restoration uh, and stuff, so they'll probably greatly appreciate seeing this. It's just a cool piece. So then this side over here will also lift up if we need more space. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this table. There's apparently some cobwebs still. I know, we're gonna have to get those. At least there's no one living in them though. But see like this joint, this is, this right here guys is why you don't ever, 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 ever slide these by the legs. Because, as you laugh, because I know you did. My husband's partially responsible. So this can be fixed. You can, you know, gently tap this back on, add a little more, you know, wood glue in here and stuff. But you see this, this piece right here, uh, I can't remember what they call this, but it's like, you know, a notch 
uh, piece. So this is cut out, and none of it's terribly exact, but then this little notch fits in there, and that kind of holds it in place. And sometimes they would use little, you know, like nail brad screws and stuff on it, but, or nails, but uh, usually they just had some glue on it and it went in there, but you can see how it's like whittled. You know, the table itself was handmade. And then I haven't pulled these out to look at the threads on them to know, and I won't. Uh, some of them need to be screwed back in a little more, but if you pull these out, you can damage the threading. If it's necessary to do it, do it. But you don't want to if you don't have to. What's this? That, I don't know. Out. Yeah, it might be how they kind of lined it up. I don't know. I don't know what those were for. But it's a cool piece. Really cool piece. Whew. Okay, so here we are. Turn that light off. Um, all right, so we've got almost this whole shelf cleared. Getting ready to move it into the other room. A little bit of what was on there is now down here and some of it is in here these pieces here i i have all listed on ebay i only have one of these i imagine this is a uh i haven't looked at the listing but i think it's like a dessert sort of cup but i think that would look super cool as like a candle votive or something also or like a small centerpiece and then this one here, hand-blown uh, art glass vase. It's got that yellow applied handle. And I feel like this one glows a little bit, like has a little cadmium in it. Uh, this one here is a paperweight. It's, you know, kind of in that Murano style. I'm just not sure Murano would have had uh, so many bubbles and such in there like that. But... It's otherwise in good shape. There's really no chips, cracks, or anything like that to it. It does have the remnants of the sticker. Oh, and the other thing is the bottom, it's very nicely polished, but it's not uh, like, or I'm sorry, it's very nicely smoothed, but it's not terribly polished. But, and I can't, I can't make out what that sticker once said. It looks like there was some like red lines right here. I don't know. Whatever it said. These right here are some Indiana glass pieces. This is the big pitcher, and I have the, I think they're in the other room, the, the goblets that go with it, the compote, and the uh, candy dish or, or cookie jar, whatever, however you want to go with that. So, and they're, I believe, all blue. I don't think they called it cobalt blue. I can't remember the term they used for it, but it, it, was, it was blue was the base color and then they added the iridescence uh those ones i believe were from oh maybe somewhere between the 60s and the 80s uh generally indiana kind of started re reusing some of the old uh grape patterns and stuff grape on vine patterns my plan for the moment is uh some of my whatnot stuff will be on that shelf over there some most of what's going on actually in the live sale will be on this table uh, as well as on that uh, dresser top some of my listed stuff i'll store away in those dresser drawers hopefully that works out and then i'll have those plastic shelves from the other room brought in and one will go like long way right here it'll stick out like about a foot but it'll leave plenty of room for the door to open without hitting it and then over here, it'll go long way against the wall. It comes right up to about the window edge, which is fine. And hopefully that will uh, be plenty of storage. Uh, anyways, guys, I thought I would kind of show you around, show you some of the stuff that I have listed and, and going on. I'm working on moving some of my whole pottery in here. These here are like little, I guess they'd call them custard jars. They're stoneware I believe um, or at least a very heavy ceramic but I think they were stoneware and they're glazed hall pottery I would personally use these as like little planters little seed starters but they're technically like custard cups uh, but no damage to them that I that I recall so there's some Fenton glass back there lots of cool stuff uh, cabbage patch twins hanging out down there doing doing cabbage patch things 
And over here, uh, this is more of a hodgepodge of stuff that's actually listed on, you know, eBay, as well as I'm willing to sell a knickknack. So it's coming together. We'll see. The main focus tonight will be this, this table. But uh, I want to go ahead and get this video uploaded and out to you guys. So I will stop now and go work on that. And hopefully it uploads prior to the sale tonight. I hope to see you guys there. Check the links in the description. Uh, new buyers can get $15 whatnot credit. Uh, you don't have to spend it with me. You can spend it anywhere within whatnot. And uh, there should be a link in the description for that. Um, there will be a link for the sale. You are not required to buy anything. You can just simply come over and hang out and enjoy the, the chit chat. The witty banter of one of my whatnot sales. But it's generally they last about an hour and they will uh, kind of just be a hodgepodge of, of this and that for now. So um, I had planned on speaking a little bit more about joining whatnot and selling on whatnot. And I can tell you that it is a really fun platform to sell on. I, I will say that. It is a very, very, very fun platform to sell on. I really have been enjoying it. I enjoy getting to interact with you guys, all that kind of stuff. It is free to begin selling on Whatnot. You don't pay a store sub subscription. You know, I, I don't think Whatnot or Knickknacks uh, are above eBay in, in the fee world in any way. So uh, it's definitely worth looking into. I would suggest going over to their site. Um, I even have a referral code in the description that you can use that will, you know, send you directly to whatnot and, and kind of walk you through the, the info and, and help you sign up if you so choose to do. I strongly recommend it. Um, shipping can be a little bit of a challenge. I mean, for some people, maybe it's a breeze. So this is just my, my personal lack of IT ex experience mind. Uh, but uh, shipping can be a little bit to get used to. I would spend a lot of time looking over that, and I'll talk more about that in another video too. Uh, but you know, overall, the experience is is really positive, guys. Knickknacks is wonderful to sell on. If you have not already applied to sell on Knickknacks, I strongly encourage that you do. Uh, your uh, seller fee, or you know, the percentage taken out of each sale, is ten percent. Just flatline ten percent. Doesn't matter. You can run auctions on there. Obviously, you can on whatnot as well. Uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy being on knickknacks. And you know that most of the people on knickknacks, as, as buyers and collectors, that that's what they are. They're collectors. And so it kind of makes it a little more fun because you have a little bit more catered audience to you know, not just pottery and glass, but just the vintage and antique and, you know, people that truly appreciate that kind of stuff are coming to knickknacks. So you're likely, even if you don't see anything in my knickknack store that, you know, fits your fancy, please go check out some of the other sellers because there, there's a lot of great stuff. I sit there and just scroll through it sometimes. It's insane. So I'm going to quit rambling right now because I'm going to try to get ready for this whatnot sale. And I'm going to have to edit this 10, 15 minutes of video real quick and see if I can get this uploaded super fast. Like I'll see you guys tonight. <laughs>